Hello everyone and welcome to my new lesson video. In this lesson video, I will be discussing the concept of reference angle. I will define what is reference angle and how do we determine the reference angle of a given particular angle. I am your teacher, Sir Mark Laroya. So let us now define reference angle. So when we say reference angle, it is simply the angle or acute angle formed by the terminal side and the x-axis. So either on the positive x-axis or negative x-axis as long as it is an acute angle. So let's go straight to the example. So we have here an angle formed by our initial side and the terminal side. And then our angle is equivalent to 50 degrees or our angle measures 50 degrees. And since this is in our first quadrant, this angle is formed, this acute angle is formed by our terminal side and our initial side which is along the positive x-axis. So this is already our reference angle. For our next example, we have here an angle that measures 145 degrees. So this is our initial side and this is the terminal side and it measures 145 degrees. This is a positive angle wherein our terminal side is in the second quadrant. To determine the reference angle of 145 degrees, we simply look at the acute angle formed by our terminal side and the x-axis. In this example, we can see that our terminal side is forming an acute angle with respect to the negative x-axis. The negative x-axis will be our base. And so, to determine the reference angle, since 145 degrees is less than 180 degrees, all we have to do is to simply subtract 180 degrees by 145 degrees. Getting the difference, we will be able to determine the reference angle of 145 degrees. And therefore, the reference angle of 145 degrees is 35 degrees. The angle formed by our terminal side and the negative x-axis is equivalent to 35 degrees. For our next example, we have now here an angle equivalent to 245 degrees. So this is our initial side and this is the terminal side of our angle. If the terminal side moves counterclockwise it forms a positive angle and it is now equivalent to 245 degrees now our terminal side is in the third quadrant the terminal side of our angle is already beyond the negative x axis or it exceeded the 180 degrees we can only form an acute angle with our terminal side and the negative x axis but since it is beyond 180 degrees, to determine our reference angle, all we have to do is to simply subtract our given angle with 180 degrees. And that is 245 degrees minus 180 degrees will be equal to 65 degrees. And so, the reference angle of 245 degrees is equal to 65 degrees. And that is in the third quadrant. And then, another example, we have here an angle that measures 330 degrees. So, given our initial side, and this is our terminal side, as our terminal side moves counterclockwise, it creates an angle equal to 330 degrees. So as you notice, it is already at the fourth quadrant. 
it surpasses the negative y-axis, but our terminal side is forming an acute angle with respect to our positive x-axis. To get the reference angle, our terminal side will be creating an acute angle with our positive x-axis and to determine the reference angle, we simply subtract 360 degrees by the given angle 330 degrees. That will give us an angle of 30 degrees, meaning this is the measurement of the acute angle formed by our terminal side and our initial side which is on the positive x-axis. So therefore, the reference angle of 330 degrees is equal to 30 degrees which is at the fourth quadrant. These are some helpful formulas in getting or determining the reference angle. If the angle is already at quadrant 1 or first quadrant, that angle is already our reference angle. At quadrant number 2 or second quadrant, to get the reference angle, we must subtract 180 degrees by the given angle and that will be our reference angle, an acute angle formed by the terminal side and the negative x-axis. If our terminal side is at the third quadrant, we simply subtract the given angle by 180 degrees to get the acute angle formed by the terminal side and the negative x-axis on the third quadrant and that will be our reference angle. And lastly, if the terminal side is on the fourth quadrant, therefore, the reference angle is formed by the terminal side and positive x-axis. So, to get the reference angle, we subtract 306 degrees by the given angle greater than 270 but less than 360 degrees. That will be our reference angle. And that reference angle here is at the fourth quadrant. Let us now determine the reference angle if the given angle is greater than 360 degrees. Let's say we have here our initial side and our terminal side creates an angle equal to 500 degrees. So, as it completes a full circle, it adds another 140 degrees and then our terminal side now is at the second quadrant and it creates a total of 500 degrees. To get the reference angle, first let us get the coterminal angle of our given angle which is equivalent to less than 360 degrees. And that is by doing the subtraction or by subtracting 500 degrees by 360 degrees, we will be able to get the coterminal angle of 500 degrees which is less than 360 degrees and that is equivalent to 140 degrees. And then, since we already have our coterminal angle, the 140 degrees, and we know that it is at the second quadrant, we can use the formula 180 degrees minus the given angle to get the equivalent reference angle. And so, subtracting 180 degrees by 140 degrees, our reference angle now will be equal to 40 degrees. This is the acute angle formed by our terminal side with respect to the negative x-axis. And now, let us get the reference angle if the given angle is negative angle. Meaning, if our terminal side moves clockwise, it forms a negative angle. In our example, we have here a angle that measures negative 305 degrees. So to get the reference angle, First, determine the coterminal angle of the given angle in positive. 
So that is negative 305 degrees plus 360 degrees, we will be able to get the value of 55 degrees which is the co-terminal angle of negative 305 degrees. Since 55 degrees is already at the first quadrant, meaning this is already our reference angle, 55 degrees, that is the acute angle formed by the terminal side and our positive x-axis. Here are some applications of reference angle. We can actually use the reference angle to determine the value of a trigonometric function. So for example, determine the value of sine 240 degrees. Using the graph, we will be able to determine what is the equivalent reference angle of 240 degrees. And the reference angle for 240 degrees is 60 degrees. And that is on the third quadrant. Using the special triangle 30 by 60 right triangle, we will be able to determine the value of sine 240 degrees. And that will be equal to negative 3 over 2. Given the value of each of the sides of the 30 by 60 right triangle. Aside from that, we can also apply the concept of reference angle in physics. So for example, we have here a resultant vector with a magnitude of 100 kilonewtons and the direction based or using the reference angle is 50 degrees. So we can name our resultant vector as or the magnitude of our resultant vector would be 100 kilonewton with a direction of 50 degrees north of west. Another example we can also have that say a resultant vector with a magnitude of 150 kilonewtons with a direction of 65 degrees south of east. And that's all for our topic about reference angle. If you find this helpful, please don't forget to like the video, share to your friends and classmates, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sir Mark LaRoya. Again, thank you very much and see you again next time. God bless.